Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel, Coffee Tea Paper. My name's Louise and if I'm perfectly honest with you, I'm actually feeling a little bit frazzle-dazzled <laughs> today. We have been trying for about 12 months to get someone to come and renovate our kitchen. Now there's been a lot of building shortages, supply shortages, all sorts of difficulties. Then we finally got a hot tip <laughs> and was able to secure a builder uh, who's going to coordinate it for us because we have a little bit of structural engineering to do as well. So that's fun. However, we were understanding that it was to start after Easter and a couple of days ago I was told that no demolition is starting on Monday and it's now Friday and I don't really have anything in place <laughs> shall we say I did a trip to the hardware store this morning and got a few things like a folding tables and a rubbish bin and a plastic tub to do the washing up in and stuff like that and yeah so I just kind of feeling a little ah so what do we do when we're feeling like that we do some calm journaling together so I've taken extra care this week because I really need a bit of just a little bit of time to give myself some calm mental space I think <laughs> so what do I I've I've done a little sort of display on my desk I'm gonna light the candle that makes me feel good one of my pen pals, Mel from Awful Gold, she sent me some chocolate a while ago and I've been saving it because it's dark chocolate espresso artisan chocolate and uh, I'm assuming that espresso has caffeine in it because it's got espresso coffee beans. <laughs> so I'm going to crack into that because I need some happy chocolate endorphins right now and the other thing i'm gonna do is have a look at what our little box of calm journaling prompt can help me focus on maybe for not just next week but for the coming weeks that will be full of disruption and who knows what else i've never done it before so i just have no idea <laughs> So let's get out the little box of calm. So last week we had our uh, stop doing list. Yeah, um, my to-do list looked really good at the start of the week. I, I had sort of got rid of a few things. Now, let's just say it's running to two pages. So this one, I don't really, I'm not really feeling it right now. <laughs> let's see let's see oh my goodness I hope it's something really inspiring and timely or a color that I like or I don't know I've got my chocolate here just in case my candle and car wow okay <laughs> <laughs> silence isn't empty I don't think I'm gonna have much silence in my future it's full of answers okie dokie right um, silence isn't empty it's full of answers okay it's growing on me I know I get very picky about the graphic design in these box of cards and a few of us have had a bit of a laugh about it. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is not doing it for me at all either. Look, 
as I have on my desk here a little mini postcard that one of my pen pals Jess sent me it's from a Dutch illustrator called Esther Benning and uh, how much more does this say to you <laughs> about silence isn't empty it's full of answers that that is beautiful isn't it what's that what is that it's not design <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to look at that. Um, all right, I'm going to think about that. And you know what? No, I'm not. I'm not going to think about it. I'm going to get my journal open. I'm a bit behind. I've only written for a few days. I need to catch up in that. I had a birthday yesterday. It's exciting. Got two teenagers now. Crikey! <laughs> That's a very Australian thing to say, isn't it? Crikey! <laughs> Crikey! I've got two two teenagers. I'm going to open up my chocolate. Looks yummy. Servings per container. Three servings. Rightio. Well, that just might be a suggestion. I'll see how I go. I'll see how desperate I am. I'm not normally a comfort eater. <laughs> <laughs> and I've had this since I came back from my trip away and that's just how not tempted I normally am by sweet things um yeah today I am <laughs> I was going looking for the chocolate chip cookies that I made earlier in the week for my son's morning tea box for school and ants had gotten into it. Yeah, yeah, I know. This is another reason why my kitchen needs renovating. It's quite um, open to the elements, shall we say. <laughs> why did it go? Oh, no, making chocolate crumbles. I'm very inexperienced with opening chocolate, as you can see. Wow, look at the pattern on it. Look at the design. Oh, I hope that's coming up. Wow, that's so lovely. Moonstruck chocolate. Look at the beautiful design on that chocolate. Oh, these just pair beautifully. Look at that. Oh, with a bridge on it. Oh, I love bridges. Don't ask why. It's I can't explain it. Oh, the sky and there's birds and stars and a bridge and the sea and trees and dolphins that's beautiful and it's just a piece of chocolate wow i love that if they were going to do serving suggestion sizes they really should have partially um portioned it out for us i feel do you know what? I'm just going to do what I want. <laughs> I have, I was tidying up on my desk the other day and I was putting away stuff and I put aside into a little basket a whole bunch of things that I thought would be nice to go on my memory journal and to create for happy mails and things like that. Do you know what? I'm going to use this. This is all beautiful colours. I think it really it teams nicely with my chocolate, my little candle and everything. Let's just go with that. Um, I'm going to put some music on so you don't have to hear me going munch, munch, crunch, crunch on my chocolate. And uh, yeah, let's do some journaling together and see what we come up with.
Okay, my friends, I'm going to finish up there. I don't know about you, but I am certainly in a much happier, peaceful frame of mind now. Just taking that time, having a bit of chocolate, having a candle, just sticking some things down in peaceful colours. I'm thinking about the people who gave me these different elements and it really has put me in a much more relaxed mood. So I hope that you have been able to join in, work in your journal or just take this time to relax yourself uh, before we head into the weekend. Thank you so much for being here with me and for listening to me have my little panic attack, <laughs> freak out, <laughs> I don't know what you call it. I really appreciate that. Just a little reminder, I'm almost, almost at 2,000 of you wonderful souls who have done me the privilege and the honor of subscribing to my channel and joining me here. I just want to say thank you. And also, I am preparing some multiple flat mails, five different ones, to fill up with lots of goodies for a giveaway when the momentous time comes. I've got a few things on order. I did a little poll and asked for some suggestions on my community tab and uh, let's just say Peon featured, Owls, both very beautiful stationery brands featured suggestions for um, pet tapes, for some washi stickers, some beautiful papers. So let me just say that I have a few little bits and pieces on the way to fill up those folders in the anticipation of that, what is it, it's not a clock, a counter ticking over. So I just want to say thank you. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and stay calm, stay happy. And if you find yourself in a bit of a tiz, just take some time light a candle, maybe not have some chocolate, I don't know, have some fruit <laughs> and uh, take a few moments just to centre yourself because silence isn't empty, it's full of answers. Oh, how is that for a segue? <laughs> Thank you so much, I'll see you next time. Bye.